This is pineapple upside down cake. Again, another dessert that you make upside down and then turn out. So first step we're gonna do is we're gonna make us some uh, syrup. That's gonna go in the bottom of our cake tin. So we're gonna melt some butter in the saucepan. This time we're gonna make sure our butter is fully melted before we add our sugar. This is 50 grams of butter and we've got 50 grams of soft light brown sugar as well. Okay, so our butter's fully melted. I'm going to take it off the heat. I'm going to stir in my sugar. What's going to happen is as the cake cooks, this is going to turn into a lovely sort of caramelised syrup. Okay, so get my cake tin. Pour in my mixture. Okay, I'll just spread it around. Get a fairly even coating. Onto that, I'm going to place my pineapple rings. Now, this is where you get the presentation of your cake, so it's worth taking a little bit of time with this. Glacé cherry. Okay, so that's when this is turned out. This is going to be the form the top of our cake. All right, so that's why your presentation has got to be good on that. Now, the cake mixture that's going to go on top very simply is the same as a Victoria sponge cake. So we've got 100 grams of butter. 100 grams of, in this case, golden caster sugar, 100 grams of self-raising flour, two eggs, okay? The only addition to that is we're gonna add uh, one level teaspoon of baking powder, we're gonna add a little bit of vanilla extract, and we're gonna use some of the juice from the pineapple just to make sure the cake has a, a, a sense of pineapple in it as well. Okay, so, butter and sugar into the bowl. Then we're going to use the creaming method to combine the two together. So break your butter up and then holding your spoon like that, just start bringing it all together. Okay. Sugar crystals are going to melt into the butter as you do this. You're going to add air and we're going to stop when we've got a nice, lovely, light, fluffy mixture. Remember, do it a little bit at a time. Don't try and do all the butter in one go. Just take a little bit from the edge each time. Fluffy, crack your two eggs into a jug or a plastic bowl. Remember, wash your hands after handling raw eggs. To that, I'm going to add my vanilla. Juice. 
this with a fork and then we're going to add it a little bit at a time to our mixture and if you add too much you might split the mixture all curdled so take your time I'm going to sieve my self-raising flour into that. Remember you're sieving the flour to add air to make sure we get rid of any lumps and to get rid of any foreign objects. Okay, so there's that. And to that I'm going to add my teaspoon of baking powder. Now I'm going to fold it together. Remember you've added all of this air, you want to keep hold of that as much as possible. So very gently fold it together. make sure it's all combined. We're ready to spread that on top of our pineapples. So just be careful when you start spreading it. You don't want to disturb your presentation. As the cake cooks, it's going to melt when it goes in the oven, so it's going to find its own level. Okay, and that's going to go in the oven 180 degrees for about half an hour, maybe a bit longer until you can put a knife through the cake and it comes out clean. It's a lovely golden colour. The cake is cooked, we're now going to turn it out onto our plate. So, plate upside down on there. Oven gloves on because our dish is going to be hot. 
One pineapple upside down cake.